I personally got the M1 Max 16 inch MacBook Pro upgraded to have four bytes of internal storage. Now, this is probably the one thing that I regret. I kind of wish I would have gone all in with the eight terabytes of storage, but once again, my cheapness got the better of me and I only went with four terabytes of storage. I honestly don't understand why I would be cheap when it comes to the one tool that I use 90% of the day when it comes to doing my job. Hopefully next time I will learn from this mistake. But at least I didn't go with the basic, I got four terabytes because four terabytes is quite a lot, but hey, eight terabytes would have been even better. And I don't think I would have minded in three or four years I'll be using this laptop if I just spent a little bit more money for that. I was one of those people, right? I was one of the ones who was like, who in the right mind would need eight terabytes of storage? I wouldn't even feel safe having eight terabytes worth of stuff on a laptop. What if it breaks? What if somebody steals it? You know how people get down? That just seems like a terrible idea. And really, it just seems like a waste of money, a, a, a big waste of money. Like if, if we go into Apple's website, right? Hold on. The cheapest possible configuration for a laptop with eight terabytes of storage is $5,400, $5,400. You got to be out your mind. And that's a 14 inch too. So if you want a, if you want a 16 inch, that's probably going to be like 5,600. No way. Not a chance. But it might be worth it. Hear me out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Would I ever pay that much? Me personally? Anyone who watches my channel knows. Hell, absolutely not. Okay? Not a chance. But would I try to find one with 8 terabytes of storage? Yes, I would. And I, as a matter of fact, I did. This, this one right here has 8 terabytes of storage. I literally just upgraded to it. And it has literally changed my life. I'm not sitting here talking, capping. Y'all know the channel's called Tech Truth. I come here to keep it 100. It has changed my life, changed my workflow. And honestly, I don't think it'd be possible to, to go back from here. Number one, I did the stupid thing of listening to everybody online being like, oh, you can get the base model, right? The base model's enough because it was strong enough, but they were like, yeah, um, 512 uh, gigabytes, that's all you need, right? Just use external drives. Yo, I'm, 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 I'm done with this. I'm not doing no more of this, okay? This is the most annoying thing that I had to deal with. And don't get me started on if you're trying to travel or do anything like that. Having these hanging off your computer is just a no-go. Way too much to sit here and try to plug in and unplug and, oh, uh, you didn't eject it properly. Eject, uh, you could have damaged your footage. Like, that gives me anxiety. I don't know about y'all, but that really, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. But like, I have to keep up with these too. Like, these are way easier to lose than my computer. You see, I'm not losing my computer. These can get lost very easily. And I know I'm holding up these three, but like I have more external drives. So the more I'm sitting here spending money and just buying these and adding, I'm like, yo, this is really adding up to the point where if I would have just bit the bullet and bought an extra terabyte or even two, right? Like I didn't have to go all the way to eight, but if I would have spec this out from the jump and just did it with two terabytes or something like that, that would have been much more useful than trying to do all this. Cause now I'm spending hundreds of dollars extra on the back end just over time instead of just all at once. Ergonomically, like the footprint and just having to keep up with more things. That was just such a hassle. That was a big inconvenience for me. And now that I have all of this internal storage, it's something I don't have to worry about. Instead of always having to have these, I can always have my computer. And then whenever it's convenient for me, whenever, you know, end of the week, end of the month, even whatever, then I can transfer all the stuff over to these just in case something does happen to the computer. And that was the second thing I wanted to talk about, right? I was like, that wouldn't even feel safe having eight terabytes worth of stuff on this computer. I probably would never do that. Well, I mean, you can always just back them up to the drive, right? Everyone's like, oh, use your drive to work from your computer. No, why don't you work from your computer and then back everything up from the drive? Like that, it, it just makes more sense that way anyway. These are memory cards. That's what these are for me. Support, these are safety. So use these as a safety net rather than something to work off of all the time. I was not a fan of working off of these. I just felt like they could just, they would always try to fall out or and they would get super hot. And then I was like, yeah, what if one of these breaks and damages? Like it's, it's nah, not a fan, not a fan. Being able to just carry my laptop and know that's all I need is just the laptop, nothing else, no additionals, especially cause I upgraded to, to a 16 inch instead of a 14 inch. None of that extra, I could just use the laptop as a standalone laptop, like it was intended to be used. You cannot beat it, you cannot. Next, I guess is just like the peace of mind, right? So. I would do recordings through OBS. So everything would just record and automatically right onto the computer. And if my storage filled up, I, I had it in a file format to where 
the whole entire thing would corrupt. So there was times where I sat here and I was doing an hour and a half, a two hour recording. Didn't realize that my 512 gigabytes of storage was about to fill up, which I don't know why, because it always almost fills up. It's 512 gigs. So uh, yeah, I would literally just lose two hours of footage, just gone down the drain. Ever since that happened, like, well, really it happened a couple times, but the, the long one, the two hour one, it really kind of put like this, this anxiety in my head a little bit. Like it was always just that thought of what if. I was always checking. I was always wanting to like rush recordings and do stuff like that. Now with eight terabytes of storage, that's a whole different type of peace of mind. Like I don't even think about it. I don't consider it at all. I will never in my life fill this up. Like I said, it's a lot of headroom. It's pretty extra. It's pretty ridiculous. But again, it's just that extra peace of mind. It's something I don't even have to consider. And before it was every day I was trying to go through and delete things. And I would be very picky and careful about what and how much I would record. Now I can just record whatever. Like it's almost like I have so much more creative freedom because I don't, I'm not limited by storage now. Now, like I said, there's no chance that I'm paying five and a half thousand dollars for it though. So what, what can you do? I got mine online refurbished. Look on Facebook Marketplace. Again, this configuration I got for probably, I think around $2,000. Completely worth it. Well worth it for me for getting eight terabytes. And you don't even need eight terabytes. That was really my other thing. Originally, the plan was to go from 512 gigabytes to two terabytes, right? So like four times the amount of storage, you're going to have enough. It's, it's going to work for you. But then I was like, why not go to four terabytes since that's going to be overkill. That's going to give me the, the headroom that I need. And originally that was the plan until I watched four terabytes is quite a lot, but Hey, eight terabytes would have been even better. I was already thinking like that. So I was like, dang, let me just see. But the price difference from the four terabytes and the eight terabytes really wasn't that different. So I just went all the way up to the eight, but the four terabytes like that would be enough for me. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just look around though. Look around on like some of these, refurbishing sites and I mean, I've got no type of light on like I definitely upgraded from that 14 inch to that 16 inch that's a whole can of worms in itself to me that was probably the hardest decision if you want to hear more up here or up here or over here somewhere on the screen that's where I'm gonna be talking about the whole 14 versus 16 inch or why you should get the 14 inch over the 16 inch or why you should get the 16 over the 14 I don't know whatever click a click it click the button what you waiting for it's right there click it all right all right